Hey, it's uh, Fresco Tip Friday again. This week I'm going to show you how to do some cool things with clipping masks. Is that what they're called? Clipping masks? Flare masks? No, clipping masks. What are we doing here? Yeah, clipping mask. All right, I'll meet you at the iPad. So I got this drawing of a pear that I'm working on. Clearly he doesn't care, but we're going to use the layers to do some things to really set him off. I want to like get some of this texture and this photo reference that I have here. And one of the cool things about Fresco is when you import an image into Fresco, whether it's a illustration or a photo, it can automatically import that color palette. So if we go over to our color palette, you'll see this is our pear image. It brought all those different colors in. So that's a nice little bonus tip. So if you look over at my layers, I have the green for the body of the pear on its own layer. So what I'm gonna do is make a new layer and I'm gonna hit this little icon over here which is gonna make a clipping mask. And with that clipping mask enabled, I'm gonna be able to color over this, but it's gonna stay within the confines of that shape. So I wanna add some of this like brownish texture tone. So I'm gonna come in here and select one of these colors that was imported. So I think maybe this one will be good. And I'm gonna use this textured brush, the Mossy Conti Crayon from the Retro Supply Co. Woodland Wonderland. I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in but you know, any texture brush will do for this kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda come in here and just give it a little, little grit, some texture. So you can see this brush is really nice cause it has like inconsistent texture, which I like. So it gives it a more natural look and feel. Maybe we'll put some up here to use as like a shadow. can see it's already starting to look pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit more at the bottom. Maybe we'll do some like highlight area too. So we'll grab maybe one of these lighter colors. We'll get this lighter green. So we'll come in here, some of that like that. Maybe some over here. It's like a little bit of shadow area under this mouth, under the nose. There we go. I don't want to go too crazy, but that's one cool way you can use layers to do something like that. So that was pretty straightforward. If you've used Procreate or Photoshop or pretty much any other drawing app, you know those clipping masks are a cool feature, but they're not unique to Fresco. What is unique to Fresco is what we're gonna do next. So I wanna just select the inner area of the glasses. So what I'm gonna do is set this layer as a reference layer, then do a new layer below that, and then we'll just fill it in black. I'll grab the black paint bucket, boom, boom. And now we have the lenses for our glasses on their own layer. So what I wanna do is make a little uh, movement of light across the lenses. So what we can do now is make a new layer. Then let's just grab like a, I don't know, purple. Maybe we can use another of these textured brushes. Let's see. Let's just like draw like a little bit of a highlight. Then maybe we'll uh, add a little white on there. Could go like that. That's pretty good. And now what we can do is Turn that into a clipping mask and you'll see it gets cropped right to the lenses. Pretty neat. What we're gonna do now is click on this little animate thing at the bottom, grab a timeline, and now let's just draw a path for that line to follow. So you can also do this with a frame by frame sequence within that clipping mask. So if we click on this plus, we can make a new frame within that animation, sort of make it a slightly, slightly different wiggle. Then maybe we'll do one more frame. Okay, so we got a ridiculous wiggle. Clipping mask that, then put that on a path. We could even add multiples to this.
And now we've got this cool effect with just a few rough lines. I'll be back next Friday with another Fresco Friday tip. So if you like Fresco and you like tips, make sure you're subscribed. All right, good talk.